talk about the dead weight loss (DWL). So we are very familiar with this curve, which is the demand and supply graph. This is the quantity, and this is the price. We know that when the price decreases, then we have the consumer will be willing to buy more quantity, and if the price increases, then the producer will be willing to supply more goods. This is the demand curve. And the equilibrium point will be the real selling price of the goods and also the quantity produced. So in this area, we know that this is the so-called consumer supers. Why? It's because, for example, consumer, when they buy the nth quantity, they are willing to pay this price. But this price is the F is the real price they are buying. So as a result, they are earn, earning this kind of supers. And similarly, for the producer, they are willing for, to produce the nth product if the price can reach this level. But now the price is actually pretty high. So they earn this kind of producer supers. So as a result, for this area, we call it this is the producer supers. So when it is in equilibrium, the consumer surplus plus the producer surplus will be maximized. And this is the equilibrium condition. So that way loss means that due to some reasons, the quantity produced is less or more than the quantity at equilibrium. For example, if there is a price ceiling, such as the rent control, the government will only allow people to sell the product at this price instead of the equilibrium price. This ceiling try to prevent the price rise from PC to P0. So at this price, the producer will be only willing to produce this quantity. But we only have this amount of producer surplus. Of course, this is good for the consumer because they will gain more surplus. But you can see that the total area will be less than the area given by the product. Uh, production at equilibrium. And this area, we call it the dead weight loss. This is a loss of the society.